Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. Well, we're back. Regular viewers of Soda Tasting will know that I missed the first three days of this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the first days, regularly scheduled episode days that I've missed of Soda Tasting since I started the show back on September 21st of 2012. I posted an update on the SodaTasting.com website, which I then shared on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, RSS, and email. So if you subscribe to Soda Tasting, you may already know this, but for those that don't, I had an issue with my camera where the footage was just unacceptable, it was jumping around, skipping, content was missing, so I thought I could fix it at first with some maintenance, unfortunately it wouldn't work, and so I decided I needed to buy a new camcorder. Unfortunately, I didn't have any episodes of Soda Tasting in the can, I usually do, but just because of how this fell on my schedule, I didn't have any, so rather than put out some substandard footage, because I have some old flip cams, I have another camera I have access to, but the quality just isn't there. So I didn't want to put anything out I wasn't proud of. So I held off, bought a new camcorder. Um, so I held off, bought a nice new camcorder that I'm happy with, and now we're back. So sorry for the absence. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for supporting the show. Speaking of that, we've now reached 150 episodes. This is 152, and we've passed 20,000 views on the YouTube channel. So thank you very much to everyone who has supported the show. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about Virgil's Root Beer Special Edition Bavarian Nutmeg from Reeds. According to BevNet.com, this special edition of Virgil's Root Beer is imported from Bavaria and is brewed and bottled in a 400-year-old brewery. There's a blog out there called Root Beer Dinosaurs of the World, which is a root beer focused blog, and in doing some research about this drink, I found a post they had made where they posted a picture of a label. And the label they posted it was different from the one that I have here in, in, in various ways, but the one that really caught my eye was that it said that it had 120 calories and 8 ounces, where mine says 107. I don't know what the discrepancy is there. I don't know if this is a new updated version or what the differences are. I actually emailed Reads and gave them two weeks to reply. Unfortunately, I haven't. But if they do get back to me, I'll update the video description. Uh, if anything I say in this video is incorrect. For now, I'm going to go ahead and, and presume that these are both the same drink. Another thing that the label posted on Rope Your Dinosaurs of the World says is that the well water used in this drink comes from the Bohemian Forest region of Bavaria, which is one of the purest sources of water in the world. Now let's take a look at uh, the label here. Uh, Virgil's is a superb blend of spices and herbs gathered from the world over. Anise, licorice, vanilla, cinnamon, clove, wintergreen, sweet birch, molasses, nutmeg, pimento berry oil, balsam oil, and cassia oil. The ingredients are purified carbonated water, cane sugar, natural flavor, citric acid, herbs, and spices. No preservatives, no caffeine, and no artificial anything. Gluten free. Made naturally for the root beer connoisseur. Using natural ingredients, we brew a root beer so pure, so rich and creamy, you'll swear it's made in heaven. Nutritional facts, which I've taken up to 12 ounces. This is a 16.9 ounce uh, bottle, and it's a pretty unique bottle. I want to show it to you here. As you'll note, it has a uh, ceramic cap on here, um, which is pretty cool. The uh, nutritional facts are 161 calories in 12 ounces, 5 milligrams of sodium, 42 grams of total carbohydrates, all of which are sugars. It is caffeine-free and sweetened with cane sugar. It pretty much is identical to what the regular Virgil's root beer, which I have right here, has as far as nutritional facts. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to pour this for you here today. I'm not going to drink it because uh, the part of the issue with my camera was that I shot an episode and it was lost. It just wasn't good enough to release. And I only like to taste fresh soda. I actually tried to reshoot. There's nothing left in here. I opened this bottle a week ago, 10 days ago. So uh, I, I couldn't, there wasn't any left, there's none left here to say, there's none left to show you. But I did make a note of all of the thoughts that I had when I tried it fresh for the first time, and that's what I'm going to share with you here today. But before I do that, I did want to show you this cap here, which if you're not familiar with the type of cap, see there's a little metal bar here, and you just flip that up, and that comes up, and then the ceramic cap comes out. So that's, you know, pretty cool, different, not the standard for soda. Now, I bought this at Earth Fair, which is a grocery store chain I recently discovered. Cool store I found uh, that we have here in North Carolina. Now, when I tried this, uh, you know, it looks like a typical root beer, brown in color. I noted that the carbonation was maybe lesser than some other root beer, some other sodas. It didn't have so many big bubbles around the side. It was more smaller bubbles, um, maybe closer to what you might see in a beer, which makes sense. And what really struck me is that this is a sweet root beer. It's got a hint of those wintergreen and licorice flavors. The smell itself is, is pretty standard for a root beer, but the taste is very sweet. And again, there's that wintergreen and licorice. You get a little hint, but it's not overpowering. It's not too much. Um, 
you know, it, it's a pretty smooth flavor. Now, I wanted to compare that to the Virgil's Root Beer, which is why I, I, I had some. And you notice this bottle is open. Uh, this was the bottle that I, that I tasted from. And what I found between the two versions is that there is a pretty big difference. And really, with the Virgil's Root Beer, the regular version, what I get is just a lot of licorice flavor and maybe a little bit of that wintergreen. That's what hits you right in the face right away. It's very bold. That's what I'm really struck with, not so much the sweetness. Now, the special edition Bavarian Nutmeg, that one is really about the sweetness, and that's the big difference that I taste. This is a very sweet root beer. This is more of a, a harsher taste. It's got more of that licorice, more of that wintergreen in there. And, um, you know, it's a matter of taste as far as what you prefer in a root beer. But me personally, I, I do prefer a sweeter root beer. So the special edition Bavarian Nutmeg version, I prefer quite a bit over the regular edition Virgil's Root Beer. And, you know, as far as where I want to put it here, I want to put it at three out of five. And I'd like to know, have you had this? Have you seen this Virgil's Root Beer Special Edition Bavarian Nutmeg? If you have, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments on YouTube or on sodatasting.com. As always, you can subscribe. As always, please subscribe to receive notifications when new episodes are released. There are a bunch of options available, and you can find them all at sodatasting.com. Thank you for watching, and as always, everything in moderation.